40 of our listeners to become St. Jude Partners in Hope this hour to kick things off today. Become a St. Jude Partner in Hope by pledging just $19 a month to help kids at St. Jude fight cancer. Put your gift on a debit or credit card and you'll get the new This Shirt Saves Lives t-shirt. Just text way up to 785-833 and click the link from St. Jude to donate. That's way up to 785-833 and click the link from St. Jude to donate. Standard data and text messaging rates apply. Mm. Way up, guys. Such a pro. All right, well, let's get into some Yeti. Man, Eric Adams. So I'm reading this whole indictment. It's like 57 pages. I'm on page 20. This is crazy. Um, now, Eric Adams, after it was revealed that he was going to be indicted, he had a pre-taped statement um, that he put out, and here's what he had to say in that statement. These charges will be entirely false based on lies. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me as guilty. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. If I'm charged, I know I am innocent. This basically saying, uh, if you're viewing this, that means, <laughs> that means I've up. been charged. All right. Um, right. Now, he did have a presser. He's still speaking, and he has no intention to step down. And I saw Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez was calling for him to step down. I saw Chio mm. say, I saw a lot of people are saying he should step uh, down. Any, uh, any of these people people that used to uh, support him? Um, I think that... You know, they have a very complicated relationship, especially like with the city council. Mm -hmm. They don't get along at all. Right. And so they override and veto things and right. he vetoes what they have going on. It's a very hostile relationship mm. between those two. Um, and he's known as being more conservative as a Democrat. Right. So somebody who's really progressive may not like his policies. So in general, not so much. Not so much. Right. Um, but the main dang. distraction is that a lot of people around him have resigned right. in recent days. And so they're saying there's a lot of people that are not running the city because people have resigned from those top positions. It's like the house is crashing. Right. Well, he did have a presser because he's not running from any of this. And it felt like a lot of backlash. This is not a black thing. This is a youth thing. You are disgrace to all black people in this city. He sounded like Fred Hampton. The, that was the somebody that did not like not Eric Adams, okay? Because, you know, wow. he, he a lot of times will state that because he's a black mayor, we've only had right. one other one, David Dinkins. Right. He gets a lot of um, flack for that. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a race thing as well is what he's been saying. Yeah, um, I believe that, though. But this person is saying it's not. It's a you thing. Now, here's what else he said at his presser. It's an unfortunate day, and it's a painful day. But inside of all of that, it's a day where we will finally reveal why for 10 months I have gone through this. And I look forward to defending myself and defending the people of this city. All right, mm -hmm. now I'm gonna tell you from reading this indictment what's going on right now, and mind you, I'm only not even halfway through it. Mm -hmm. But from what I can see, and a lot of this has to do with uh, straw donors, um, you know, illegal campaign contributions, and um, with this indictment, but, the wrongdoing that they're saying that he's uh, facing criminal prosecution, and by the way, he's the first sitting mayor of New York City to face criminal prosecution, has to do with him traveling to Turkey. Now, some of the things include, uh, they're saying him getting these business class trips, these heavily discounted hotel luxury hotel rooms, um, and then also soliciting for his campaign. So it says here that one person was going to contribute, a businessman on one of his trips is going to contribute $50,000 or more to his 2021 campaign, believing that he might one day be president of the United States, hoping to gain influence. And then they were figuring out how to funnel that money so that you couldn't see. Because you have to sign all these things when mm -hmm. you're raising money and when you're matching funds, that the funds can't come from international places and there's certain limitations to the amounts. So what they're trying to say is that he had a lot of um, straw donors. But we'll get more right. into it. Um, Which is something that most politicians and I, is regular. And I'll say they, that they too. That. A lot of times politicians do do things not necessarily in the right way, especially when it comes to travel and favors. Absolutely. You want to tell me Giuliani wasn't on first class But flights? we can't make these allegations. But yeah, anyway, I mean, I am, um, when we come back, Jesse Smollett, Mona Scott Young, and Jabari Red are going to be joining us. The Lost Holiday limited release AMC Theaters tomorrow will discuss its way up. Way up.